Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a minimal API CRUD app with ABP. So the CRUD app means create, read, update, and delete. So we are going to perform all the four functions and also add a Swagger UI to our API. Let's get started. As always, I have created the blog post. Uh, we can follow along. So the first step is to create the project. Okay, I have created an empty ASP.NET Core project. And then let's Okay, I navigated inside. Inside we have A very basic .NET Core app. We just have one program.cs file. Let's open that up in the VS Code. Okay, here's our basic app. Let's delete all this and then start from scratch. So the first step is adding the required packages. Um, we will add autofac and MBC and a swashbuckle and also um, we are going to use SQLite for uh, doing the database operation and then design is for migrations. Okay, we have added all the packages. Let's uh, go and check it out here. We have all the necessary packages and also the design is available. So let's start adding more code. So the first step is to create the entity. Um, this is the same project uh, which, which I did in the last video, so I'll just quickly go through um, we will remove the audited aggregated root and then use entities okay the next step is adding the DB context As you can see, I'm actually um, adding some data, default data in the migrations. Uh, and now we can just go and create our module. Uh, we'll copy this and then. So before until this point, we have already saw that in the previous two videos. Uh, it's kind of similar. The DB context doesn't, doesn't change. But now uh, we have some changes. 
I mean, uh, the depends on is same. We are still using Autofac, uh, SQLite, and MVC, and and we the new things are um, here. So these two are the new things. What it does is it actually adds uh, API Explorer and a uh, Swagger generator. These two are for um, DB context. And then here in the development, we are actually adding a Swagger UI. Uh, it, it's pretty basic uh, implementation. And now we can go and create the minimal APIs. So the builder is similar. Let's go and add the builder first. So we first, again, using the builder, adding autofac, and then replacing the default uh, builder configuration, and then adding the minimal module as an application. Once we have the app built, now we can uh, we can map the endpoints. So we have four endpoints to do the basic CRUD operations, which are like create, delete, update, uh, and get. So uh, okay, so. What's going on here is uh, we have a app built and then we have a repository injected. So this I repository comes by default in all the ABP applications. If there's any error uh, here, make sure in this, um, in the module, you have uh, configured the DB context correctly and, uh, and then mentioned to include the default repositories for all the entities. So this is the only place if you miss this, that uh, this default repositories here will throw an error. So if you had that configured properly, and then if you had the artifact working, so then this I repository will just work. And then you can just call the get list, list async to just display all the books available and the post method is uh, similar. You're just inserting uh, the name. It's basically one property coming in and the second property is just injecting the repository. And uh, the on put, we are actually using the ID and the name and then we are getting the name. Once we have the name, we are updating the book. And in the delete, we are just deleting it. So. There is nothing fancy going on. It's just a very basic CRUD application, but we are doing it in a different way by using um, ABP entities and also ABP DP context with the modularity of ABP modules. Okay, let's fix the imports. And once this is done, let's go back and make sure this is building. Okay, our project built, and now it's time to uh, configure the connection string. So I will add the connection string, which is available here. And my DB is going to be called db.sqlite. I'm using SQLite, so I can just put it in my local a project folder and time to add the migration let's add the migration uh, first clear and then add okay our migration is successful let's go and check the migration what happened and you can see the book was 
created as a table and then a insert data was also created for us so that the default data is inserted okay the next step is to update the database dot net ef database update So this will create the database and also run the migration. You can see that uh, the insert query was ran and then it ran my books as a data. And then here you can see the create table book query was ran and then the, and then the migration table was also created. So if you want to go and check out the table, um, yeah, this is my location. I can come and then check the table in the SQLite Explorer. So you, you can see there are two uh, tables. One is um, migration, which is just a basic migration table. And the other one is books, which has my books and then the concurrency stamp. And now let's run the project and see what happens. Okay. Now, when you launch the project, it's gonna be empty and you will see not found because there is no default route. But if you go to slash swagger, you will see the swagger uh, UI which kind of detected all the endpoints available and then uh, provided a UI for us. And also you can also see the schema for the books. I will first run a get request and then see what comes back. So the get request gives us 200 and then uh, gives us a JSON data of uh, my book. This is what I actually uh, seeded and then you can see that the uh, query was executed here and let's try to create a book i will say new book and execute and we got a 201 which means created so if we go back and then execute now we have two books it's going to be the same for update. I will uh, copy the ID of my book and then update it to something else like my book one, two, three, and then execute. And we have uh, my book one, two, three updated now go back and then execute and we have my book one two three let's say we want to delete the my book we can just go to uh, delete and then execute and we will have 200 perfect now when we go and then execute the books get again and we will only see one yeah so that is the basic crud uh demo we don't have any authentication here so all the authentication authorization you can still come and add uh, in the uh, on application uh, on applic configure services where you can add open id and then connect to the identity server uh, you can actually run this as a small service and then connect uh, to the current ABP application, make sure you get the authentication and authorization available. Um, give us a comment if you want to know or uh, if you want us to make this, that as a content uh, and let us know, then we can uh, make that as a, another blog post or another video for you guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me in this video. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we will you're planning for more content uh, on the YouTube channel and also uh, planning to add more community content. Uh, if you have some ideas, go and create an issue as an article request and we will also take a look at that and then also try to solve that as a 
issue for you guys. That's it for me. Um, yes, uh, see you then. Bye-bye.